it took me a while to love my lips because <laughs> growing up uh, with this set of soup coolers, as, as we call them, I got a lot, a lot of flack. Kids were merciless. They teased me constantly. Um, I had to grow into my lips. They took up about 50% of my face when I was uh, really young. And so I was very self-conscious about them. But then as I grew older, I couldn't imagine my face without them. They're a reflection of my father's lips. They're a reflect, they're actually the perfect combination of my parents' lips. I have my mom's little bow up on the top and my dad's fullness. Um, I think of them every time I look in the mirror. Hi, I'm Gina Torres and I love my lips. Quite frankly, I'm getting the last laugh because somewhere in high school, <laughs> the Paris pout came into um, uh, fashion. And we all knew that the Paris pout was just a euphemism for beautiful Afro-American, Afro-Latino lips that were full and full of life and framed the face in a beautiful, beautiful way. And so my lips became the envy of the school and became the envy of a city. And now they're just a part of who I am. I would tell my younger self to hold on tight, <laughs> as I've told my younger self many things over the years. Um, hold on tight. It's going to get better and the world will catch up with you. My daughter has a version of my lips. She is also the beautiful and perfect combination of her dad and her mom. The most important thing I can teach my daughter about self-confidence and beauty is it starts inside. It starts with self-love, it starts with self-acceptance, and when you get to that point, it's unstoppable because the world sees what you see when you accept it in yourself. The best advice I ever got, um, I was working in a bakery on the Upper West Side in high school, and uh, it was my senior year, and I just, God, I just wanted to get out there, and I just wanted to do it. And, um, and this other actor, working actor, who was a regular, came in, and I recognized him, because I kind of had a little crush on him. And he said then, he said, you know, you're gonna hit your sweet spot later. There's a maturity to you that won't make sense for a few years. So just hang in there. Here I am, he was right. I didn't think it would take this long, but he was right. <laughs> I am a late bloomer. I absolutely would consider myself a late bloomer. And that's all about acceptance. That's all about just understanding a little bit more about how the world works and, and your part in it and embracing it. I just turned 50. And as my girlfriend would say, 50 fine. Um, so yes, I love that. Uh, 50 fine, 50 fabulous. Um, it's really the best birthday I've ever had. I am so in my body, so good. And thank God, healthy and excited about what's next. And, and more than ever, feel like I'm prepared to take on whatever's next.